write a code fragment which sets PA for high, delays the MPU exactly half a second with a 104.8576 Hz external oscillator and sets PA for low, delays another half a second and repeating repeats using only instruction delays, use subroutines. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and look at that. So here what we have the provided one is we have an external oscillator which is external and that is given to be one of four eight five seven six hertz and what we need to find out is uh, what is the hertz for the internal clock that is e clock internal clock which is e clock that is external divided by 4 so here we have to divide this one by 4 1 of 4 8 5 7 6 divide this one by 4 and that gives us 20 162,000 and this many cycles per second But according to the question, we have to find out the cycles. We have to do the for the, do the cycles for half a second. So this one has to be divided by two. That one gives one thirty one zero seven two cycles per half a second. Half a second. Okay, so this is the number of cycle we have to derive. This is what we need to achieve. Okay, one three one zero zero seven two. I will not achieve this one. We have to create a code. Let's go ahead and write this one in my message. So to write the code, we have to know another thing that. Here it's mentioned it's set PA for high and PA for low. So if you look at uh, port A, the port A has a PA range that is 7 to 0. Okay, and uh, according to the PA given. If it's PA4, then that's 2 power 4. If it's PA5, then that's 2 power 5. The active high, the, the PA4 high is going to be 2 power of that. Like if it's PA4, then that is 2 power 4, that's 16. So we had to load that one. Okay. So if I write the code for this, let's use a different color to write the code. Start. And then now I have to load the PA4 high, that is LDAA. You can either do it in um, hexadecimal or binary because we have to just load 8 bits. If you do it in hexadecimal, that's just 2 digits because in hexadecimal each digit represents 4 bits. Uh, but uh, if you do it in binary, you have to write 8 letters and you can write it like this. Binary is percentage, hexadecimal is dollar sign. So here, uh, if you write 16 that is 0, 0, 0010000 0, 0, 0, 0. you can do that one as well both of them works and uh, only make sure you only hexadecimal or binary because LDAA instruction takes only uh, deal with 8 bits values so 8 bits can be achieved only hexadecimal or binary if you do other things it's gonna it's not gonna work <clears throat> okay so now STAA store in the accumulator A and port A whatever okay now whatever in the store is going to be stored in the port A and then uh, we are going to do the jump to subroutine that is JSR that is delay we are going to create this one And then LDAA. Now we are setting PA for low. PA for low is zero. It doesn't matter what PA 
efi law like whatever the law is always zero so here we have to just put two zeros then uh, sta or whatever in the a to court a then yes has jumped to subroutine there is delay okay one second i get a phone Okay, let's go. Jump to subroutine, and after that, uh, BRA that is branch always. Now I have to keep on going in the bottom. I don't have space, so I'm gonna continue my code right here. Let's separate the code alone. Okay, and I'm gonna continue right here. Oh, okay, give me a second. Okay. So here we have jump to subroutine set and the name is delay. I put the name here delay. And in this one, we use this one to load X value. LDX. And uh, this is load index register with a certain number. The number we decide after doing a calculation because we have to, the main thing we are trying to achieve is we want to derive this many cycles. So we have to see all the cycles that is already there and then we have to set this number based on that okay so i just leave it alone for now and then we are going to create a loop to achieve the cycles required so to create the loop i name this one as delay loop and then i do the decrement of x value dex and then p and e and this is branch not equal to zero so like if if not equal to zero it's going to keep on branching that's like that's a loop and it should if it's not equal to zero it should go back to delay loop so i put them right here <laughs> and then um, i leave some space and then write rts this is return to subroutine so that is the code basically now we have to see what does this uh, each um, we have to see each number of cycles and um, LDA takes four cycles okay four cycles and yeah, I'm just gonna keep the number write the number only just to you know make it short so this one was a four and the storing also for STA also for uh, this one if you see most of the subroutine things it takes five cycles so jsr take five cycles uh, and then rts also take five cycles and then sta four cycles okay and bra doesn't require any cycle and this is branch always and that branch always to start that one right here okay it doesn't require any cycle and this one takes three cycles and this one also takes three cycles and this one takes three cycles as well okay and uh, here are uh, two more instructions that will be helpful for us i put it here the next one so we can use either knob or brn asterisk like this this one takes two cycles this one takes three cycles we use this one based on our requirement like based on what we need 
but for this one currently i don't do use any of those uh because i want to calculate and see if i need them okay so here if you see 4 plus 4 plus 5 that is like 8 plus 5 13 13 times 2 26 here and here we have 3 and then 5 26 plus 3 plus 5 that is 29 and 34 and i didn't include these two because this is a loop this is going to keep on running based on what i put for this x value so if i put uh, for example if i put thousand for the x it's going to run thousand times so thousand times six that many times is going to have this others only of course once so that's why i calculate the others and put it right here and uh, we had to decide rest of them based on what we got so now 34 except these two ex excluding these two i got 34 cycles and then i won't achieve this so 131072 131072 minus 34 let's calculate this the calculator 131072 minus 34 that gives me 131038 now to decide what to put here i divide this uh, the rest of the number by six because it's going to keep on looping six again and again so if i put that number that's going to work out perfect so i divide uh, whatever the number i have by six see what i get so i divide this one by six and if i if i am getting fractional number so it doesn't work now i'm getting a fractional number like 21839.66 so if it fractional number it doesn't work so it means we had to use either this one or this one but uh, in this case if you have a, like after you do the calculation if you get a um, even number it's better not to use it because if you do minus three that's going to be an odd number and if you divide an odd number by six that's going to be always a fraction so we can use two or we can use knob but if you have in case if you have three knobs then you can use two of them because that makes even number six three knobs also six two br and br and also six so both of them works okay but for now i just uh i just want to start from scratch like i did subtract two so now it's going to be 131 and I put put the knob here as well. One knob takes two cycles. And uh, make sure you put it after the loop because we want it to just may happen once. If you put it in the loop, it's gonna happen again and again and again. And we are trying to minimize the number, to minimize the coding. Like um, better to you know put it outside so it's only happened once. If you put it here. Is gonna run this many times and that is not preferred okay so i put it here so now it's uh, 30 it was 38 before now if i put that to now this is 36 and i divide this one by six and again and see if i am getting a whole number so now let's go ahead and do the calculation again one thirty one thousand zero three six divided by six that is again a fractional number so i'm gonna use another knob okay now that takes another two cycle now this one becomes 34 130 was 1000 0 of 34 and then divide this one by six let's see 131 thousand zero thirty-four. divide this one by six that's giving me a whole number so we stop right there and then uh, the number i'm getting in the calculator is 21839 and that is it that's our coding and uh, you know this is five cycle i can put it here like this make you know make sure that this is not something else 
so this is basically it so here we use uh, loading required for cycles storing requires for cycles jump to drop a, a subroutine requires five cycles and we are setting active high i mean pa for high and pa for low so it's going to be double so totally 26 cycles right here and then let's do the calculation if you do the calculation you have to get this number back you know in order to verify yes if you want to verify so let's do the calculation so 131072 is the number we want to derive and uh, here 26 cycles here 26 cycles here and this one only have once put plus three and uh, this two two plus five and this two and two and five happens only once put that one right here and this loop happens this many times i put that one three plus three happens at twenty one thousand eight hundred thirty nine okay and if we calculate all of them we have to get this number back okay let's do that so if i put it in the calculator first time i'm gonna start with the big one that is 21 this one not multiply by 6 that is 21,839 by 6 that gives me 131,034 and then plus 5 and then plus 2 plus 2 so this is 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 26 that is 33 so plus 33 that is giving me 131,072 that is the number so this calculation working out pretty good we are getting the number we want to derive it means this coding is perfect okay and that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video and also this one is start okay not start start okay and that's basically it i hope you guys found it helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you